Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. This story that we're about to tell you started about four years ago. We met Nathan Martz, college kid, right around COVID time, we're still wearing masks, as he was butchering deer to help put himself through college. So now, this year, graduates college, gets a good job, and says to his father, Kevin, I don't want to do it anymore. Kevin won't close the shop. And I just said, well, we have such a good clientele. I really don't want to stop it. Uh, we have all of the walk-in coolers now and all the equipment. And so I said, I'll, I'll continue doing it. Basically because there's less and less people doing it now. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I don't want to let hunters down that have been coming here year after year. So I decided this year I would go ahead and take over. Somebody pulls up here and they have a deer. What do you do first? Uh, my wife usually takes the order. Uh, they'll pull in, they'll take the deer out of the truck, they'll put it into the skinning room. She'll take their order. I'll put a tag on the deer that has a number that is coordinated with their name and what they want. They'll tell her all the product that they want out of it or if they just want a standard cut. First spot? Yep, the first spot. People get their deer, they pull up here. We let them bring the deer inside. Oh boy. You got deer. Yeah, we got a few here to do this morning already uh, that were dropped off this morning. So they bring them in. Uh, we usually have them put them on a sawhorse here. My wife will take the order. I'll start by skinning the deer out. Once we get the deer all skinned out, uh, I put a tag on it on the back leg. You'll see a number tag, right. yep. number tag. That's the, that's the number of deer that come in. We'll take that and we'll put it in one of the coolers. We have three coolers. We have a walk-in cooler over in that room. And we'll, we have a reefer trailer out here and another cooler in the other room but they're getting filled up so uh we'll keep we'll keep taking and we'll keep cutting up so we can keep them going very interesting racks too look at this there is some dandies in here there's yeah some, there's some real nice ones yep and and probably you see here the story like um my son shot a spike but it's his trophy we want to take the head that yes, kind of stuff right? yes we do have some young young hunters uh, matter of fact a good friend of mine his daughter she's a nurse at geisinger she just came last night with the first deer she ever shot it was a nice six point buck awesome beautiful rack and uh they're getting that one mounted so she came and picked the cape up this morning and off to the taxidermist off to the tax yeah these are just really good bucks really big Nice Pennsylvania. Look at that. That is a trophy for in anybody's mind. Yes. Line. Yeah. Yeah. We've we've got a few. We've got a few over here that, I mean, anybody be proud to get one of those. Oh yeah. So, now we've got a, a deer half cut up, and they go in here. Yep. Let's they go into this cooler after they're cut up. Ready, oh, wow. ready for processing. Whoa! You got a ton to do yet already. Yep. And we, this is just one of three. This freezers? is one of three coolers. Holy yeah. moly. There's some big, healthy deer too. Yes. That's like a cow. Look at the size of that. Yep, that's a that's a big buck right there. You can tell it doesn't yeah. have any fat on it. He was probably a breeder buck. And, yep. and you got some big doe that are, you know, an inch, inch and a half of yeah. fat on them. Yeah. They're and healthy they, deer. The Pennsylvania deer herd is very healthy. And relatively, they're not uh, shot up, or have you taken care of the shot up ones? <laughs> well, uh, actually, there's not. This year, I haven't seen that many deer that are blown apart. Right. Mm -hmm. One shot and they're and done. You're done. All right, so now let's we're going step by step. Let's go and see your butchering and look at the products that you end up with. Okay. But before we go look at you, Quentin, you said you got more deer in here. I, I have more see. deer what in this is cooler. This? this this actually is a, a reefer trailer. It has a diesel engine on it that you cool it with. It was wow. actually the neighbors used it for their orchard and they didn't need it any longer and they, they got it to me. And now this is where we put another batch of deer. There's probably about, I don't know, 40 deer in there. So when you're not doing this, your real job is construction so you can build these things. Yes, correct, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. awesome, buddy. When we do a standard cut, this is all the cuts that they will be getting. So you will have your steaks that come out of your hind quarter. Right, very nicely cleaned. You will have your back straps, which is the, the back of the deer. They're portioned out, vacuum yep. sealed up, more steaks. You get your tenderloins, which is the inner loins on the inside. Some right. people call them the fish. Okay. Uh, you get a lot more steaks. Like I said, the whole hind quarter would be where you get all your steaks. Let me compliment you on how clean and hairless and beautiful that meat looks. Thank you. Let Thank me compliment you. you we, we, we do take our time at cutting it up and, and making sure that it's clean. You can tell. 
And there's a there's a roast. We have a couple of different roasts. You get some shank roast. You get some eye round roast. You get a neck roast if you want it. I mean, you you tell me because it's all custom. Right. So if you don't want your neck roast, you tell me that'll get ground into burger. But you can get more back straps out of there yet. And one more tenderloin. And another tenderloin. That's that's the hind quarter and the back strap. And then of course you get your burger in your burger tubes. We vacuum seal all these cuts, and these are all done with a machine that we we tape the bag closed. You can do one pound or two pound burger bags. A couple more roasts were in here. And that's what you will get out of a, I would say an average deer, 100 right. pound deer. That's all the cuts and all the all your, the steaks. Your base, basic cuts. But basic you standard. pride yourself on some of your processed products. Correct, we let's, do do some processed products. Let's clean up and try some, how's that? Okay, sounds good. We're joined at the tasting table by Kevin's wife, Kim, and his mother and father, Kenneth and Eldoris. All right, so let's try some of this. Tell us what we have from here to here. What's okay. this? Okay, uh, the first thing here will be a, a breakfast sausage. Okay. Uh, you will get it in a tube like this. Uh, we grind it, we mix it with pork and our seasonings, and then we vacuum seal it like that. And you can take it home, you can make your patties and fry it up. Okay. This is summer sausage. Uh, we have three different flavors of summer sausage. Sweet, jalapeno, cheese, and cheese. Okay. And it comes in a five pound tube. That's about how big they are. You can slice it for sandwich meat or you can cube it like that right. just for snack. And we'll be back to try those. Tell us what these okay, are. Okay, these are the bolognese that we, that we offer. We have a jalapeno and cheese bologna. It has uh, real jalapenos and cheese in it. This is the garlic bologna. This is the cranberry and cheese bologna. Wow. Wasn't really a big fan of that when I heard about it. My son started it, right. and I said, who would want cranberries in their bologna? But it's a big seller. And that's what they look like. And that's what the rings look like. They're about a pound, a little over a pound. And this is? This right here is dried chip beef. Uh, dried chip venison, actually. Right. But it's just like your dried chip beef. Well, let's try some of this stuff. And um, we have a bacon. And we have a bacon. We have a venison bacon. I'm going in. You want a fork? Right, let's try some. Yeah, here. Cut I'm going to try the cranberry one. Okay, we'll pull them off. Here, you want to cut that sausage up? I'll pull these off. Very good. Very tasty. Delicious. You would not know there's venison in this. That is a delicious No, that's what I say. I, I, I really think that uh, the bacon and the sausage, when you try that, you're going to think that's just like pork bacon and mm -hmm. pork sausage, but it's venison. I'm going in with the cranberry. That'll have just a little bit of a sweet Oops. flavor to Ooh, it, it with does. the cranberry. I'm like you. I wasn't sure. Very, it's, very it's good. Sweet, yeah. salty. I think that's what draws the people in. If somebody wants more information about you or they kill a deer during the last couple of weeks, the season or whatever, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, you call me on my cell phone, 570-394-8365. And uh, you have a website? And we have a website, March Processing. It's on Facebook. Um, you can contact us through that or through the phone. As long as we have space available in the freezers, we'll take your deer. We will cut up deer this week and next week, and if we have space, we'll, we'll keep taking them. So, Congratulations on delicious products. And I'm telling you what, I, I'm all in. Well, thank you. Thank you. I love a story that ends with a taste test. Thank you very much, guys. Good luck the rest of the season. Right now, you're going to see the information that you need to get a hold of March's Deer Processing, either by phone or Facebook or his website. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.